Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Mount Tammany Ridge channel. So today I'm in the garage and I'm going to be talking about something that is totally different than what you guys are used to seeing here on the channel. Um, it is uh, property related here. Um, however, uh, basically, uh, it's a, I had to do a garage door opener installation. Uh, the previous one we had uh, went kaputs on us and uh, we just uh, had to get a new one. So now throughout the process of installing this new uh, belt drive, uh, Genie garage door opening system, um, there's a lot of questions, you know, there's uh, some things about instructions are clear and obvious and easy and some things are not exactly um, how can I say, uh, not digestible, I guess, for everybody, right? So um, there was a few questions I had, and there's a lot of stuff on YouTube uh, on this make and model uh, garage door opener. However, um, it, uh, it seems to be that the, the subject matter that I would type into the search engine would always lead me kind of down a rabbit hole toward something that the title um, is kind of vague. So uh, I would wind up back to the sensors being the problem uh, for, the, for the issue that I was having. So the issue that I was having with this, uh, with this Genie opener, it's a, it's a model um, 7055D as in David. And uh, it's a real nice unit. But I was having a hard time understanding how to get this thing to uh, travel up and down. Um, it's not like the previous uh, garage door opener we had where there was two switches. There was a, a, a switch up top to stop the door and there was a switch at the other end uh, closer to the door opening to stop the door. Um, this one does not have that. So what's, uh, what's going on here is there's some buttons on the bottom of this Genie garage door opener that you need to use to set, to program the travel distance on this. And uh, you could see it in the instructions, but when you started messing around with the buttons, it wasn't exactly clear. So I'm gonna flip you guys around here and I'm gonna show you the buttons I'm talking about um, and uh, explain you know, how, how you have to go about it. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys up close here to the underside. Now that's the model number, okay? So um, straight up right there, okay? You got a set button, a positive and a negative. So when you have your garage door um, either, usually it's gonna be all the way down, right? So your door is gonna be down on the floor um, and you're going to set your trolley, which is over here with the, uh, where is this gimbal going? There you go, come on. There we go, so that's the trolley there, okay? Now, when you put that trolley in, uh, actually, hang on just a second. So I'm gonna put this thing down, okay? And I'm gonna see how the lighting does here. Okay, the lighting doesn't look like it's too bad. So over here, okay, you got the trolley. Now from the, this side of the trolley closest to the wall of the house, okay, or the front or the, the garage door side uh, of the trail system. Um, and right there, okay, um, you're gonna want a measurement of approximately 16 inches to start with, okay? Um, and that is basically, it's just gonna make setting the travel distance a heck of a lot easier and you're less likely to have things get bound up down here and possibly cause some damage to the gear system. So, um, this lighting's not the greatest right now. So, up here all right everybody so 
my concerns actually did come to the surface. I was trying to go off the cuff and my memory as I was explaining this and I botched it. So here I am doing a voiceover trying to explain what it is I was trying to say. So the positive and negative buttons on the bottom of this, uh, this motor housing uh, to set the up travel, you're going to push and hold the positive button for a few seconds. A blue light will flash behind the button. And once that starts flashing, you will then release and then repress the button and hold it. At that point, the door will begin to lift and pull up to the motor. Okay. Once it gets to the motor, you release the button and then you press the set button and at that point your up travel will be set and then the opposite for going down to the floor as well um <laughs> there was a, a little bit of frustration for me um you know dealing with it uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve but you know the, the more you mess around with it um if if you need to some of you know, who knows you guys might be better at it than i am uh you know as far as professional homeowner right so uh <clears throat> i just figured there, there weren't there were not any videos uh posted um for this type of thing um and and, and what i am i should say to to, to be accurate okay um when when I push in the button, okay, and it's, I didn't know that you had to, to set this, okay? So when I had pushed the button here on the controller or on the wall, the door would only go up like, I don't know, six or eight inches and it would stop, okay? And then you'd push the button and then it would go back. So in all the years of, you know, goofing around with our old garage door system, typically, you know, that meant that either one of the switches was out of calibration, okay, or uh, one of these sensors uh, was knocked out of alignment and it was, uh, you know, telling the door to stop. And most of the videos that you come across, you know, they put in the, in the title, okay, that, you know, what to do if your door won't open or, or close or, you know, won't do a full cycle. And you click on it and you go, gee, maybe this one will tell me, maybe this one, this one, this one. And then they all end up going down the same subject uh, in the end. So uh, and it always seems to be the sensor. Now, I had the same exact experience, but for a completely different reason that everybody else was posting a video for, right? So I hope this video wasn't too confusing. Uh, I'm going to go over it with a fine tooth comb, make sure I wasn't, you know, doing uh, ADD circles and uh, confusing the heck out of everybody. And if that's the case, I'll just redo it. No big deal. And uh, I gotta tell you, I got a new toy um, for recording and uh, I think it's cool. Um, I'll show you guys on another video, but it's kind of heavy. My arm is killing me. So I'm going to let you guys go for now. If you do like the content you see here on the Mount Tammany Ridge channel, it would be great if you guys could subscribe, comment, hit that like button, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.